Hey, it's Chuck here, back with another episode of Milton Daily Homes, and what a week it's been at the MDH uh, headquarters. So um, I'm looking forward to just taking a couple days on the weekend to relax, coming back on Monday. So the first one on our list is 679 Edwards Avenue. It's 294.9, three-bedroom, two-washroom, and it's called a Brannon or an Amesbury model. So you walk in the front door, and there's uh, one... I call it large, it's relatively speaking large room, and then there's a kitchen on the other side. Upstairs there's uh, there's one full bathroom, and then there's the three bedrooms. And now this is typically pretty high for a uh, for a Brandon model. I mean, the next model up is twelve thirty five square feet, whereas this one's eleven thirty, and uh, and they'll sell in the low threes. Now. Without seeing the pictures, it's always a little bit challenging to uh, to determine the value. But when you read the description, there's hardwood floors on the main level and upstairs too, which you hardly ever find. It's an unfinished basement, uh, two car parking in the driveway. I think that there's a lot of things in this one that really would draw people in. Whether or not they get that, I think it'd be a bit of a challenge. But it's such a there's such a shortage of inventory under 300 that. It, I mean, things almost always sell. It's just how close they're going to get to the asking. 922 McTrack, 3435, three bedroom, three washroom, and unfinished basement. It says it's over 1,500 square feet. They've done dark wood cabinets, pot, uh, drawers, breakfast bar, all that stuff. Now, this looks similar to the size of an Emery model, which is about 1,400, but it says 15 to 2,000. So uh, we'll see. I think that this one might be in line. It seems maybe a touch high to me, especially when you compare it to this one here, 75 Finney Terrace, 349. So now you're talking end unit, which adds at least 5,000 to the price, uh, sometimes more, especially in this market. And it's 1510 square feet. It's a hills view and it's got hardwood floors, uh, a couple pot lights. It's a nice effect when you have the lights off. Uh, this agent always, well, he hires someone who takes good pictures, but you can always count on, on solid pictures. Nicely staged home, very clean, extremely tidy, very enticing, makes you want to see more. Backsplash stainless steel appliances, so they really did a nice job here. Neutral tones, everything's very nice. This is just builder colors, but they've just kept things very simple and tidy. And laundry on the upstairs floor. 349.8. Not so bad, actually. I mean, it wasn't long ago these were selling for, you know, three thirty. So it's, it, I mean, it might be a little aggressive, but uh, but we're just seeing records shattered almost every week with these things. Two forty one Pettigrew, three forty nine nine. It's a semi detached. It's a Valori, so I believe it's about fifteen hundred square feet. But don't quote me. Uh, again, looking for a May fourteenth possession. The previous guy's June fifteenth. Whenever they quote a specific day on closing, it's usually pretty important. And I would say in about ninety percent of the cases, it means that they've bought another home. Okay, so we've got a hardwood floor. We have a, a two sided fireplace so between living and dining. They've quoted. It's not two fireplaces, it's just one. Um, yeah, hard to say, it doesn't really talk much about things beyond. There's a hot tub in there. Semis at this price range, under 350 are going pretty fast. All right, 1204 Night Trail, 529.9, four bedroom, three washroom, and it is a double car garage. Hardwood on all the levels. There's no carpet in this home, less than 2,500. Uh, it is a nice street too, and it's very close to the uh, Main Street Village. It's close to the Go Train. It's close to the Superstore. Uh, easy to get on the Highway, Home Depot, the movie theater. I really like this area. Um, you know, I'm not sure if they missed the boat on price here. It seems a little high when you're creeping over. 500,000, you got to have a lot of upgrades, and usually you have to be on the other side of 2,500 square feet. So we shall see. Uh, 517 Grant Way, 549. And again, I think this one's probably a little bit high on price. Uh, double garage, it's a split level home, so it's sort of interesting. I don't know if the pictures really give you a good sense of how big this one is, but they can distribute a lot of floors on these little half level. Uh, areas. Okay, so you've got the dining area. It opens up to the kitchen, which opens to the family. You've got some California shutters there. Nice looking kitchen, breakfast bar. The family room might look a little bit small for someone looking in this range. You can get bigger family rooms for five fifty. There's another shot of that. And so there's a good shot of the split level here. So that's the front door down there. And then you've, you kind of come up and there's half levels. This ceiling is maybe 12 or 14 feet. Uh, bedrooms. 
so yeah, I, I guess, yeah, that's my big message, 38 by 102 foot lot. Uh, it, the nice thing about these ones typically is the basement, which is unfinished, the lowest level, does usually have higher than average windows looking out to the, uh, to the backyard. Well, not sure what to think about that one. But this is the Chuck pick of the day on 87 Dewar Court. Okay, so 5849, and we're talking about a home that's over 3,000 square feet. The lot size is 34 by 141, and it's 94 feet in the back, so it pies out to 94 feet. Nice looking kitchen. They've done the moldings around here, done, done the moldings up there, pot lights. That looks like a granite countertop. So they've done all the right things. Lots of windows in this home. And then you just back onto a beautiful backyard. There's some pot lights there, gas fireplace, hardwood floors. Just delightful. They finished the basement. I would probably paint that a different color, but that's just me. Um, I do like how laminate and carpet interact in this space. I think it creates, in a big open room, it creates actual functional areas. So that was really clever. Um, now the backyard backs onto woods. There's a huge, huge area here. They've done a lot of interlocking, so they spent some big bucks back there that typically you don't get back when you sell. And there's also a hot tub. There's a little gazebo here. Uh, really, really nice. Dewar Court is actually just, I, I, it's one of my favorite streets in Milton. Thompson, Spruce Dale, uh, and it just comes right off of here. You can see the forest in the back. There's a little pond right here. So almost every home on Dewar has something really cool uh, to the property. So nice size lots, just fantastic. 584.9. I like it a lot. And our last one is 700 Serafini, listed at 699. It's four bedroom, four washroom, and it looks absolutely enormous from the street. I mean, that looks like a monolith of a home, uh, stone and stucco. This is built by Coscorp. And they've been building some nice homes in this area. It's, it, a lot of people have been selling them though, which is kind of interesting. I don't think that reflects on the quality. It just, I think it might even just reflect on the market conditions. Now, dark hardwood floors, lots of windows here. The kitchen, it's hard to tell. There's not really a good angle on the kitchen that you can predict what it looks like. Um, staircase is just gorgeous. That's a beautiful shot. Another shot here, so you can see how the staircase even goes down to the basement, which is unfinished, but they've actually finished the little uh, area around there. Those iron pickets are not cheap to put in either. Okay, walk out from one of the rooms. And a nice open shower, that's very nice, double sink, so these guys put some thought into everything. Um, you know, this one's 3,500 square feet, it's obviously nobody's living in it, so they want someone to move in as soon as possible. Uh, not sure what I think, it's some sort of neutral on it. I, I, I'd like to see maybe a different layout in the kitchen, I'd maybe like to see a couple more pictures. Um, but if you're looking for a big home, I mean, this one definitely has it, there's no doubt about it. So that's our list for today. And if you have any questions, you can give us a call, 905-693-9346, or if you want to see anything uh, in the list, just let us know. So uh, have a great weekend, and if you want to meet us at Starbucks, you can definitely just click on the link on the right. So have a super, super weekend, and I'll see you next week. Bye.